The moment has finally come so I get to have an exclusive interview with Shamad, the first man with a period. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Mr. Shamad. Thank you for asking. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I just told you that I was doing fine. Um, this one needs to ask over again. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Um, so how old were you and what did you do when you noticed the blood? Well, I was around this age of 20. And the way when I noticed the blood was when I was fucking. You know, shit, you know a nigga like me was beating that ass up. <laughs> beating that ass up. So, you know, you know, I'm fucking. Fucking beating that ass down. And then I look down and know there's some blood coming out. So, I'm thinking, shit, boy, I'm doing a damn good job. So then that's when I reach out and be like, baby, I got you bling. <laughs> and that's when she tell me no. So I'm tripping like, <laughs> she playing. She playing. She know I got a bling. She just don't want to admit to it like how y'all girls be. But you know, shit. Then that's when she said no, for real. And she showed me. No blood. Damn, so I'm sitting there starting to trip like, hell nah. If the blood ain't coming out of her, it damn sure ain't coming out of me. So then that's when I look down and know the blood was coming out of my dick. Then I'm looking at her like, bitch, what the fuck you gave me? And you know how hood girls be. Speaking of hood girls, go check out my video right under this one. Hood girl versus good girl. You know, guaranteed to have some good laughs. Check it out. Back to the subject at hand, though. But y'all, so you know how them hood girls be. They talking about some. I ain't give you shit. And man, you know, I don't, you can't trust these hoes, even though I've been with this girl for about 27 years. So shit. So that's when she sat me down, and we looked at it together, and she told me I was having a period. But I still couldn't believe it. So I went to the doctor, and he told me, and that's why a nigga like me sitting here today doing this interview for y'all. Do this shit for y'all. So, what are your symptoms that let you know your period is about to come on? What kind of motherfucking question is that? What the fuck you mean? That's the motherfucking question I asked your stinking ass. There's a symptom right there. Mood changes. This nigga is tripping. <laughs> and he crying. I apologize. I didn't mean to um yell. <laughs> you know, it's that that. This the cramps. <sighs> Uh, then I bloat. You bloat. <coughs> then I'm anorexic. Anorexic? Diarrhea. Diarrhea? Is that a fucking symptom or what? <sighs> then I have these strange food cravings. You know where I can find some chitlins and ice cream? He from Constant. Read the next motherfucking question. Okay, this motherfucker is gonna have me tripping. Okay, um, most periods last from three to seven days. So, how long does yours last? Well, that shit may be true. That shit true, because I read that shit on Wikipedia. I read that shit. But see, a nigga like me, my shit lasts from like three, three to seven months. That's eight. Shit like that. Okay, so... Are you a heavy or light bleeder? Oh! Heavy. Real heavy. It's so heavy. Uh, too heavy. Shit, my shit heavy though. For the first six months, then on my last month, it's light. Real light. It's so light. Light switch. Light. So, what do you, you use to stop the bleeding? Well, shit. I had to really look and dig deep to find the right motherfucking pampers. Okay. See, I use that, that, that shit like, you know, that, that Charmin pamper. Because I wear the same pamper for the same seven months. Damn, his ass thing. Charmin? Yeah. Then, you know, the Charmin. You know, Gerber baby pampers. Okay. Ain't Charmin tissue. Gerber. You know, Gerber be advertising Gerber. Charmin. Um, I think that's the baby food. Man, just read the motherfucking question. You in the interview me. Make me kick his. Ooh. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, 
I think that's all I have. <laughs>